picnic. I love it. <laughs> you are my kind of person because your picnic consists of only biscuits. <laughs> there is no protein to be found anywhere. And one biscuit seems to have just been eaten. It's, it's not like been eaten. A little bit. Cra- it's just been cracked mm. a bit. That's very good. Yeah. Well, this is my childhood. I just want you to know. This is me coming to Scotland in the summertime. Shortbread, Jaffa cakes, custard cream. All you need is a walnut whip, and it's like 1978 in the island. Got it made. <laughs> I can only apologise as well about the winds. It, we didn't order it. We didn't want it. But, it, it, I mean, it's here. I just want you to know, nowhere in America would you ever get away with filming outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, luckily, my diva days are behind me. I'd be like, where's the lighting? Where's my hair? Where's my makeup? Here, it's just like, all right. And I'm freezing, which is why I'm wearing this lovely coat, because my friend Aaron lent it to me. Well, welcome to the Fringe. This Thank is what you. it's all about. Yeah, this is exactly what it's all about. <laughs> now, with your audience, yes. this is what I'm interested in. Do they know you for your stand-up, or do they know you as the actor? It's 50-50. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I used to have a joke that all, when I was on Sabrina, I would always say, if every major d in the world were eight years old, I could eat at any restaurant. Mm-hmm. Because, but now they're all 22, so I can Mm. So it's fun. <laughs> I see. It's weird when someone comes up to you and say they love Sabrina and they have like a full beard. That I think, or some of them are bald, and I'm like, wow, has that much time gone by? <laughs> you went from being a child to having hair and losing hair, <laughs> and now you're watching stand up. Um, I was a stand up before I was an actress. This is your this is your trade. This is my this trade. Is what you do? It is 25 mm. years, 24 years. Mm. So you're you're very honed. You know what you're doing. Um, but do people expect what? they get do you think well this year i decided because the last time i was at the fringe it was so much about sabrina that i just do a little bit of a slideshow in the middle and i show a lot of pictures from sabrina and i tell a little backstory about sabrina and i really cater to those people but then i realize there's a lot of people who have no idea what i'm talking about and why am i referring to a cat that talks (laughs) so (laughs) it's hard for i i really my show is all about the audience too like it's not it's not interesting for me to just stand there and tell jokes and not connect to the people it's about the connection so you engage and you talk with them yeah i turn the lights on i turn the lights on and off oh oh, on and off they're not on all the time no sometimes they're on so i can check out the audience i make them sing i make them dance i give them chocolate oh that's really nice so so you do ask them to do things but you also give them a reward for it as well absolutely absolutely and then i have a whole section in my act about how we reward people in the world <laughs> oh so it's nice so do you feel that there's... so you haven't come to see my show yet i haven't but yeah, I'm really... and yet i'm in the park under a tent with you <laughs> i feel a little i don't know cheesy <laughs> <laughs> well maybe i mean we do we do do a lot of interviews so we you can't do. see everyone but since you're here <laughs> oh that's nice you're gonna make the extra effort <laughs> yeah no but since you're how many here... interviews do you do what today we've got 17 Good lord! I know. Seventeen a day? So, well, not That's a every lot day. of cookie budget, honey. You're <laughs> going to be going through these like crazy. <laughs> I mean, not every day, but um, we do. We, we get through them. Does anyone yeah. actually eat the cookies? Yes, they do. Yes, they're here for you. Oh, okay, because I I was going to write a book once called "I Ate All My Prop Food" because people <laughs> would always be in scenes and they'd be like, like Zelda would never eat anything, and I'd be like, it's food. You have to. And she would always be like, this is how she would eat. She'd be like. I'm like, you know what? We're not doing a panto. Like, you have to, we're on television. You have to eat it. You're like, eat the food. Now that I've touched this, I'm going to have to eat it. <laughs> so, would you ever do a show where the audience weren't engaged and maybe it was, well, no, obviously they'd be engaged, mm-hmm. but it was maybe more of a piece that is just you talking, more I've of done a that. monologue. I've done that. But you prefer the engagement. The I just find people interesting. So I think that whatever you're going to bring to the show, it's a giant crock pot, mm. my show. Mm. And it keeps it different for you as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because some shows are fantastic and some shows are incredibly silent, like working for a giant room full of mimes. And then they come up to you and say, it was brilliant. I really loved it. I'm like, what show were you at? Is it a secret? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> or you're at the Gilded Bloom, which uh, they're quite an arty crowd, I think. Oh, they are? Yeah. Well, especially you being in the dining room, mm-hmm. which is quite a, it's quite a posh room, and people kind of come there to see proper theatre sometimes. They do. I don't know. I'm just pontificating. You're filling me with confidence and carbohydrates, <laughs> and you haven't seen my show. I'm really glad I came all the way to the park. No, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, they sound like, for the most part, they're up for it, yeah? Yeah, they're up for it. You know what? Isn't the fringe about doing something different, though? Absolutely. Absolutely. If I want it, you know, I, every time I'm here, I'm like, oh, I want to. This is my brain at the fringe. Oh my god, I love it here. 
I love it in Scotland. I'm moving here. How can I move here? Then the next day I'm like, I hate it here so much. What is the latest flight that leaves out? I will never, ever be with these people again. Oh my gosh, I had the best audience in the entire world. I love it so much here. Then the next day I'm like, oh, maybe I should totally rewrite my entire act. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to do impressions. Then I'm going to learn a musical instrument. Then it's like just your entire career of 24 years in three weeks. They love you. They hate you. They love you. Bye-bye. What stage are you at at the moment? I'm conflicted. I'm at the tired stage. I don't generally do. You know, I have a a four-and-a-half-year-old who's, you know, bossiest creature in the world. (laughs) Constantly (laughs) yells at me. Mommy! (laughs) She has the personality of a Russian gymnastics coach. No matter what I do or say, she's like, again! 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 I'm going to do it again. I want to go to sleep. I don't want to play that game. Where's she got that from, though? Is it Matt, from you, Ben? And now? And now this? Really? <laughs> Not seeing my show. Drag me to the park. No hair, no makeup. Wind. <laughs> beautiful trees, though. It's really beautiful here. Where are we? Where, where does your daughter get her? No, where are we? Where are we? Yeah. Where, now? Yeah. This is the meadows. It is the meadows. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. iconic. This is, a, this is a special place in Edinburgh. It is. Yeah. Because? Definitely. Just because it's... I'm, I assume it has some history. I love these trees. I love them. In, you were so good in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the trees. Uh, Matt, do you want to meet my friend, Mr. Clown? I would, I would love to meet your friend. I think, it's, Mr. I think Clown. it must be time. Mr. Clown. You know, I decided to do a children's show, too, because I have a four-year-old. So and you're she doing loves two shows. theater. I'm doing two shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. World's worst decision-making process <laughs> skills right here. So Mr. This, Clown, this is one of yeah, my so best I, friends, I, I, Mr. I, I, Mr. Clown. Oh, Mr. Clown, this is Matt. Hold on. Mr. Clown. <laughs> Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown. We have to wait. Really? Okay, you just rest your head there, Mr. Clown. I, say hi, I really I hope they're above my waist, Mr. Clown. I have no microphone, so I'm going to say hello and goodbye. I don't have a microphone either. What are you talking about? Your head is not. There's a microphone right there. Speak hello. into it. Okay. Mr. Clown, I think you should sit on my lap. That would be slightly easier. I, I think I'm going to say goodbye. What do you mean? You come didn't... to the show, Caroline. I am at the show every day. I don't okay, have a choice but to come. Show. Matt should come to the show, although he won't until like, you sit here and be interviewed, and then he won't even have seen your show. Okay. He can't even right. sit here and gosh, it is fantastic. Goodbye. I love goodbye. the way. No, so your show. Goodbye. So just run through where your shows are. My show is at the Gilded Balloon. My children's show with Mr. Clown is at the Gilded Balloon at 11.30 Mm -hmm. every day. And then my nighttime show, and that's in the wine bar, which is a perfect place for a children's show. Um, And then my evening show is in the dining room at 8.15. Excellent. And I expect to see you there. Are you going to yell out to me tonight? I'm taking all of these cookies, and if you come to the show, you will see them again. Otherwise... I will double your budget by making you have to buy more Jaffa Cakes. (laughs) Jaffa Cake. Delicious. I'm doing your free sponsorship.